ಸದಾಶಿವಸಾರಂಭಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ I welcome you all with my love and respects. I welcome all the devotees from around the world who are sitting with us to create the N effect and experience N effect. Experience and share the N effect. Before entering into the satsang, I want to ask any devotees around the world who are sitting with us who are experiencing kundalini inside your samana mudra hand if you have vibhuti just see and share that vibhuti with the people who are sick who have come for healing in your center any of you guys already ex- vibhuti has materialized can you raise your hand or continue to sit now before this end of this satsang the people who are experiencing levitation kundalini awakening you will see vibhuti in your hands inside your hands i could see very clearly the intense connection the presence of the master is happening with all the people who are experiencing levitation so yesterday i felt the same intense connection and said in many temples the padaka from padaka vibhuti has started coming and i received the photographs from los angeles from mexico from padaka vibhuti started coming now i feel very clearly the devotees who are experiencing kundalini awakening they are intensely connected to me and the divine presence you will see inside your hand samana mudra the vibhuti will start getting materialized i tell you within shivaratri scientifically we will prove the teleporting of not only vibhuti even the navaratnas it will start happening i could see i could see very clearly by shivaratri people are sitting and experiencing levitation the kundalini experience inside your hand the materialization teleporting of the navaratnas and vibhuti all the, all the objects will start happening we are entering into a different zone the people who are sitting in the physical presence also sit in samana mudra you may have vibhuti now in your samana mudra first i'll answer a question from n satsang center jayanagar bangalore from mahesh dear swami ji towards the end of your morning message today thursday 13th january 2011 you made the n effect happen in the five centers in north america which were connected live on video conference you raised their kundalini put them into samadhi and also made vibhuti come out of the padukas in those centers my question is can't the same n effect happen to all of us who are watching the morning satsang live every day sitting individually in our homes from 7:30 am onwards is it necessary that we should gather together as a group in one place and watch the morning satsang as a live video conference for the n effect to happen in our bodies for the kundalini awakening for the levitation for the samadhi to happen and for the vibhuti to appear can't all these happen to all of us sitting individually in our homes and watching the morning satsang live from our homes on ntv though not via video conference i eagerly look forward to your response i'll take this opportunity to explain thoroughly the n effect 
and kundalini awakening levitation for all of you please understand i wanted all of you to understand what we are doing first thing i wanted all of you to understand it is not hypnotism i am not hypnotizing you i am actually dehypnotizing you you have been hypnotized as an ordinary human being island just a physical body i am dehypnotizing you and making you realize your original state you are cosmic consciousness second thing i am not showing any magic or miracles no exactly as per the patanjali's yoga sampradaya the yogic tradition the pure samadhi experience the kula kundalini experience is being transmitted please understand yesterday i made it very clear even during the n effect instruction let the samadhi experience as explained by patanjali let the kundalini awakening as explained by the great master patanjali happen in you all now again i am insisting let the great yoga vedanta sampradaya the yoga vedantic experience expressed by sada shiva mahadeva patanjali and great hatha yogic masters like maschendranatha goraknatha the sanyasa sampradayas of shankara these great vedantic yoga vedantic traditions what they speak as kundalini awakening what they express and define as the samadhi experience let that happen in all of you i am very clear please understand now i am offering my whole being and everything to all those great masters and say o oh masters whatever you wanted as samadhi experience o oh mahadeva shiva what you wanted to transmit as samadhi experience to the world o oh patanjali what you wanted to teach through ashtanga yoga as samadhi experience to the world O Maschendra Nata, Gorak Nata, what you wanted to give it to the world through Hatha Yoga. Let that pure yogic samadhi experience, not any diversion, any siddhi, any black magic, no. What you all wanted to transmit to the world as great samadhi experience, only let that happen to all of you. only let that happen in all of us nothing else please understand now you will all experience we will all experience only the pure samadhi experience of those great masters i am very clear i offer myself at their feet whatever energy expressing through this body i offer it at their feet pray to them and earnestly request them their divine presence and let there not be any diversion from what they wanted to offer as samadhi to us let there not be any side route perversion or going in a different direction what they wanted to do to planet earth to human consciousness let that happen on all of you let that happen in all of us please understand i am very clearly invoking their presence o oh masters please be here available with all of us and what you all wanted that pure yoga vedantic experience happen in all of us as the side effect of that experience 
all the miracles all the auspicious miracles happen please understand i am making it again and again very clear whatever you are all experiencing is pure authentic traditional spiritual yoga vedantic kundalini awakening and you are all heading directly towards the ultimate samadhi experience atma jnana atma anubhuti enlightenment experience i am not doing any magic miracle hypnotism i am doing a clear authentic ancient time tested full proof method of awakening the kundalini shakti and leading you all to samadhi as per the yoga vedantic tradition i am saying now invoking the presence of all those masters o mahadeva sada shiva patanjali maschendranatha goraknatha who all the great masters i request all those masters to be present here and let them all bless all of us let the pure yoga vedantic samadhi experience an awakening of the kundalini as they wanted happen in all of us so the side effect of this experience will only be health bliss joy creativity prosperity and all the auspicious things and the highest conscious experience enlightenment itself so please understand it is no way any black magic or hypnotism or mystical mystical or hysterical or nothing it is pure spiritual experience i invoke their presence and i promise upon them if i am an incarnation to transmit this pure yoga vedantic samadhi experience to all of you let that happen now in all of us let that awakening of kundalini as described by those great masters happen in all of us you will see let that masters presence fill all of us when the kundalini awakening happens as a side effect of that kundalini awakening rocking swaying levitation happens please understand sometime levitation did not happen you may feel your body completely silent stable frozen but deeply empty inside even that is kundalini awakening for some bodies it will be levitation for some bodies it will be completely peaceful silent frozen state for some bodies different different auspicious things will express now 
I wanted to define exactly what is happening here. See, here is a body, an incarnation body, who is completely not only awakened, alive, whose body is ready to transmit the Kundalini awakening to anybody just by the mere presence or will. Not even will, just a presence. So anybody sits in the breathing space, presence, the transmission is happening. You may wonder then how through video satsang it is happening. Understand? Master's presence is not limited by space and time. So wherever you are, if you are able to see me, I am able to see you. Immediately the connection happens. And there is another one level of connection. Even if you are not able to see me, I am not able to see you. You just remembering me or me just remembering you. The presence starts happening. And levitation starts happening. For that, a little more maturity is needed from your part. Please understand. The question is all about that only. Can we have the same Kundalini awakening? If it is not two-way, you can. Even if I am not seeing you, you can experience Kundalini awakening. But for that, you needed to be little more matured. Means, the ability to enter into my inner space the transcendental consciousness is needed for you, which may need little more practice. I tell you, if you have physically come here and attended LEP or this inner awakening, where I started initiating people into the Kundalini awakening and levitation, that's a, then if you add that initiation and then go and sit in the satsangs, immediately you will experience, because the initiation has happened. Even if that initiation has not happened, the second priority is sitting live with the yen satsangs. That I am able to see you, you are able to see me. That is a second priority. The third priority is you sitting and watching me live, but I am unable to see you physically. That is the third priority, but you will also start experiencing in few days the more you fall in tune. And actually, Master's presence is not limited to space and time. Only in the initial level, for the initiation, you need the limitation of space and time. So exactly, when the Kundalini Shakti, your inner potential energy, your bioenergy, inner potential bioenergy, if it, when it is awakened by the master's presence and blessings, so many auspicious things start happening in your system. Just yesterday, we received some of the scientific research we did on inner awakening. They say, 1300 percent, 13 times, the cell energy, the bio cell energy is awakened in human beings during this Kundalini awakening, during this N effect. Please understand, 1300 percent, 13 times than normal human beings. Second fact they are saying, even the people who did not participate in the process just sat in my presence volunteering. Even on them, 1100 percent, the increase of the energy was shown. Please understand. Two groups they studied. One, people who sat and went through the process, attended, went through all the meditation of Samana, Yoga, Mudra, everything. Second group, we just sat did not do any process, which was volunteering. Of course, third is the normal human beings. Normal human beings, 100% energy means, the group which sat and went through the process, 
was experiencing 1300 percent 13 times more energy awakening the cell energy the inner potential energy bio energy and the normal group the, the group which was sitting and volunteering which was not doing any process had 1100 percent means the power of presence master's job is 90 percent only 10 percent is the process you are doing is awakening your energy so the presence does the 90 percent job of initiation into the kundalini experience that is why I am saying yesterday when I said I am physically feeling connected to those five centers and the vibhuti will start coming from those five centers padugas immediately in one hour I received the photographs in all those centers padugas vibhuti coming please understand when I see you I can say very clearly the connection has happened the quality control QZ pass when only you are seeing me connection may be happening but I cannot be giving I will not be able to give the guarantee that the effect is already happening see the N effect happens in two level one infectious just because your neighbor is levitating your bio memory will pick up it is good to start but in that level transformation itself will not start happening but levitation kundalini awakening is happening only in the flesh level skin level skin deep but when i am initiating you the levitation starts happening in the bone marrow level in the very being then the kundalini awakening will lead to the transformation please understand it will lead to the transformation of your very being basically this kundalini awakening is expected to lead you to more and more joyful transformed blissful character otherwise just jumping hopping is not going to help you it will create the highest possible coherence in your brain which will create health joy transformation an amazing blissful creative character in you that is the essence that is the purpose of this kundalini awakening so that devotee you ask this question from the Jayanagar Satsang Center please understand you can experience Kundalini awakening levitation even if I am not seeing you no doubt but if I am seeing you I can ensure that connection has happened and not only Kundalini awakening the more and more miracles and Kundalini's expressions can happen as I said just now please understand this centers which are sitting with me now which I am able to see all these centers now two things will happen one from the Padukas of your center Vibhuti will start coming second people who are sitting and levitating inside your Samana Mudra hand Vibhuti will be there end of the satsang vibhuti will be there take that vibhuti and give it to the people who have, who have come to your center now for healing they will be healed understand this kind of teleporting i will be able to do only if two way connection is possible just the kundalini awakening i may you may have experience even if it is one way if you are seeing me but this teleporting we will be able to do only if there is a two-way connection that's one thing second I can see very clearly the connection between you and my body is getting so matured within the Shivaratri scientifically we will prove we will call the scientific community and prove the teleporting is possible from here 
See, actually now Vibhuti, which is coming from my Padukas in your centers now, and the Vibhuti happening in your hands now, is actually coming from my table, from this table. It is not created. It is getting teleported. From this table, it is reducing. And it will be transmitted there. We will prove this to a scientific community. We will call scientific community and prove this to the scientific community. And what? Singapore, Vibhudhya started coming? <laughs> All right. You have touched the Padukas? In the Padukas, is it coming? Okay. By the end of satsang, you will see. So, end of the satsang, you will see it is expressing, please understand. I wanted all of you to know two things. One, I am not doing any magic or miracle. I am doing the exact spiritual science as taught by Sadashiva, Maheshwara, Padanjali, Goraknatha, Maschendranatha, Buddha. All these great masters. That is what I am just before starting this satsang, as I said, I invoke their presence. I promise upon them, let what they wanted to transmit to the world as Kundalini awakening and as Samadhi happen in all of us. So that you are all clear. There is no black magic here. There is no hypnotism here. It is pure, authentic, time-tested, Foolproof, thousands of years of Yoga Vedantic traditions, Samadhi experience, Kundalini awakening. This is first. Second thing, now we will make this whole thing scientific. Now, yesterday we tried one process. Process of teleporting Vibhuti on Padukas. See, on matter. See, Padukas have direct connection with me. But fortunately, they do not have logic, independent logic. So, making Vibhuti happening in them is the first step. Very easy. Now, second step I am working is making Vibhuti happening in people who has logic but who are willing to surrender on those bodies. Now, the Vibhuti will start happening. The third thing we will call the scientific community who has logic, who, has not, who are not interested in surrendering. To them we will prove this teleporting is possible based on the Samadhi experience of Yoga Vedantic tradition. The Kundalini awakening does not need any physical nearness or presence it is beyond space and time so I'll answer all the points in this question Mahesh's question you can experience same Kundalini awakening if you are watching live from your homes on NTV but for the deeper and deeper mystical connections to happen, like teleporting, deeper samadhi experiences, maybe the two-way connection will be really helpful. So I will really encourage you guys to gather as group in more and more places and have two-way connection. We are expanding our infrastructure to connect with 100 cities at a time. We will be able to have, give you two-way connection. Only thing, don't take two-way connection just for one or two people. At least if you are able to gather 50 people every day, then have two-way connection. If you are running our temple, then you can have two-way connection. When you are sitting as group, to land on you intensely in the energy form is very easy for me. Then one individual. 
If you are one individual, you are initiated, then it is easy. If you are not directly initiated, if you are sitting as a group, it is very easy for me to land on you all and awaken the Kundalini Shakti. So, first thing, I sincerely request all of you who have not done the inner awakening after I started teaching Kundalini awakening and levitation to come and attend one inner awakening. See, if you have done LEP or this inner awakening, 2010 December, okay. If not, come and do one inner awakening. Directly get initiated in Kundalini awakening and levitation. That is a great thing. Then, even if you sit alone in your home, you will experience Kundalini awakening. Now, Singapore, she is sitting all alone. But she is experiencing because she is initiated. Same way, till initiation, at least gather as group some 50 people. At least 50 people. Then it is easy for me to land on you. And awaken your Kundalini. Have as a group, satsang. And as a satsang group when you sit, it is really totally different and I request all the satsang centers and temples all of you each one of you don't need to do the Guru Puja but at least you can have main Paduka kept in the front when the Paduka Guru Puja happens here, Pratyaksha Paduka Puja happens here at least the Pujari can sit and do the Puja there on behalf of the whole satsang center on behalf of the whole satsang center one person can do the Guru Puja the Pratyaksha Pada Puja, same Puja which happens here, so that the presence is intensely invoked and felt and more and more people experience Kundalini awakening, health, creativity, prosperity and all the auspicious things. Not only that, I am seeing very clearly all our temples and centers where the Kundalini awakening is happening is going to grow exponentially <laughs> because so much positive energy is radiating. So much positive energy is radiating. I am seeing very clearly. So, don't bother at all. We will start. The deeper and deeper realms of spiritual explosion. Tomorrow I will give you more detailed the research reports done on the December 2010 Inner Awakening and more deeper process and experience we will start. Even after this process the people who experienced Kundalini Awakening Please sit for some 10-20 minutes. You may experience Vibhuti happening from your hand. Teleporting happening from your hand. At least for next 10 minutes, continue to sit. And you can give that Vibhuti to people who have come there for healing. And send me the response and report whoever experienced Vibhuti happening in their hands. Actually, making Vibhuti come in the Padaka is very easy because it doesn't have a logic. It doesn't resist. It doesn't have intellect. But human body has resisting intellect logic. So it takes little time, but we will do it. I can see very clearly the connection is so deep. It is happening. It is happening. Then we will call the scientific community which has a logic which is not ready to surrender and prove to them the teleporting science.
I bless you all. Let us all achieve, experience, live, express, radiate and share the eternal bliss. Nityananda. Thank you.